Something you don't know about water and land, episode 3, water. I'd like to talk about water shortages around the world this time. When we imagine a dystopian future, we often think of a world without water. Few people controlling whatever water remains. It's also a cliche of science fiction movies. But people also say, climate change will cause more heavy rain damage and increase sea levels. If glacier melt, won't they increase water anyway? It's no wonder that many people are confused. Regarding climate change, the most authoritative organization, the Climate Change Council also say this. Because of climate change, abnormal weather such as flus and droughts has become more frequent and severe. Why on earth flus and drought risks are increasing at the same time? If you pay attention to the state of water, not just the amount of water, it will be easier to understand. As the global temperature rises, more water is basically evaporating from the earth. To put it simply, rivers and reservoirs that used to provide drinking water quickly dry up. Of course, the evaporated water will become clouds and scatter rain somewhere. But rain doesn't mean it's just good. It rains more than necessary in certain areas, causing heavy rain damage, which can cause more serious damage than water shortages. If the sea level rises and there's more seawater, shouldn't we change it to edible water? No, we shouldn't. First of all, it costs a lot to build a desalination facility. Rather, salt seeps into the groundwater due to rising sea levels, which reduces the amount of drinking water. Now, we take water easily from all over the place, but what happens if we don't change? Won't the tragic story of water being rationed differently based on status become a reality in the not-too-distant future? Could this become a part of the daily life when your grandchild is born? In order to keep the Earth's water resources clean, Samsung Display sets an annual goal of reducing water usage by 5% year over year and reuses 15,000 tons of wastewater from our domestic work sites every day following treatment at in-house facilities. In addition, there are still so many works to do to save the sand, ocean, and water important resources, so let's do whatever we can to protect our Earth.